everybody and welcome back to another biogas video today we're going to revisit using the biogas in a generator as you can see behind me i'm um, currently doing a thousand litre compressing that into the 45 kilo tank um, and uh, my ipad is actually running a little bit low so what we're going to do today is we're going to use that whole tank with the new improvements i've made on the generator and try and charge the ipad up so i can keep recording well, so as i was saying I'm going to be using the gas through the generator again today. Um, out of all the applications that I think I've done, is the generator is uh, fascinates me the most. Actually turning the gas that we make into electricity. Uh, so we've used it for many things. Uh, behind me, you see the fridge, another fridge there. Uh, we've run it through stoves and ovens. The, Renai Ultima 2 heater. We've used it through a patio heater and um, yeah, there's the digesters in the background by itself. Even done a little bit of a, a blowtorch forge. Um, so very practical for many uses. I think the most practical things I've used it for so far is cooking and um, the heating. So in that Renai Ultima 2 it works really really well and I think that's still under LPG conversion from when I had it in the greenhouse. So, as I said, I've modified the um, generator a little bit since last time. I've hooked it up differently. Um, so, what we're going to do is have a look at that. On the previous video, I had this air filter cover off and I was running the hose straight into there. Um, now, holding it is not very practical and if I held it in there before, like I was balancing it, and it would just fall out. So, what I've done now is, so this is the exhaust where it gets reburnt into the carburetor. We've actually taken that off and ran this hose straight into that inlet, which goes into the carburetor here. So virtually all I've done is utilize some pipe from the bi digester. Got essentially, yeah, this is just a barbecue lead. That's still got the LPG um, regulator on it. And all I've done is hooked it up to a valve, to a barb fitting, and put a clip on it to hold it. So this, I've already had it running, so I know it works. Um, it's just a better option, I guess. You can buy, as I said before, you can buy conversion kits, but at $400 Australian, um, I'm pretty iffy about it, whereas this works. So I've got a fresh bottle here. I think it's got about 800 litres um, pressurised at uh, 160 PSI. So what I'm going to do is... I, because my iPad's running low, I've got my charger there. I'm going to start this up and charge my iPad, and we're going to see how long this bottle lasts. Okay, you know, so I've got the generator, got the gas tank. So what I've done in the past, the last time I've been using it, was I would have the petrol on, and then fill that up, start it, turn the petrol off, and then let that stop, just to warm up the engine, and then start the gas. I'm going to try and do it without doing that. So it's been a little while since I've used it, so everything should be cooled down. Uh, we're not gonna have the choke on, we'll start it. Um, the only thing is the, the amount of gas is very touchy, so sometimes you just have to alter it and, um, you know, if it starts and then dies, you know, alter it. But that's the setting I had it at before, so I've got a bit of a head start. So I'm gonna try and get this going. So I think I might need to turn this down just a tad. Still maybe a bit more. That's a cold start. Now we're going to adjust this valve. Awesome. That's sweet spot. That sounds pretty good. So now I'm gonna charge the iPad, take it out of the time, and we'll come back. So it's been about 23 minutes. The revs have started to drop down. So I'm guessing that the tank is 
running out of pressure. Uh, we still got our loads on. I've whacked on a light as well. So this is kind of still plugged into the iPad. Um, we'll just see how long it takes for it to actually die out. There you go. So I had 59 minutes. Well, I'd probably call the last two um, not really counting as it wasn't generating power. It was just kicking on. Now I think in a future test what I might do when I get some more gas is actually this exhaust, so it usually goes into the like into the carburetor again to reburn. I might see if I can drill a hole in the side of this down here and then plug that into it. That might make the fuel last a bit longer as well. Well there we have it. 59 minutes out of about 800 litres of gas so my bag wasn't completely full and I've only had the pressure at 160. Well, I can pressurise that a bit more I can fit a, a cubic metre in there, a thousand litres. So I think if I managed that correctly I probably would have got probably about an hour and a half, maybe two hours depending on my usage. So the load wasn't too great. Um, I did plug in the fridge underneath it because the, the fridge underneath is gas and electric. I plugged that in instead of the light just to add a bit more load. Uh, but if I manage the revs, revs right, um, because they were over revving a bit more so than it needed to run that equipment there. So if I drop the revs down for what I needed, I probably could have squeezed two hours out of it. But I think it's absolutely fascinating using the gas into a generator to power things. If the power goes out, you can still run your TV and that. Um, is it as practical as you know, LPG, uh, liquid propane? Probably not. Uh, to get that amount, I think for, for that generator there, at full load, I think is about five hours out of a eight kilo tank. Um, and we got one out of a uh, 45 kilo, but only 800 liters. Usually I like to base things off a neat uh, one cubic metre. Um, but this is what industrial plants do. So they use the gas to power generators to feed back into the grid. Uh, so it's absolutely wonderful concept. I'd love to go visit a commercial plant one day. But until then, we'll see what happens. I'll just keep going with this. If there's anything that you guys want me to look at, or try, let me know down in the comments and I'll do my best to get to it. But thanks for watching and um, stay tuned for more.